Dear student, today we will see chapter number two, parallel lines. In this chapter, we are going to learn about alternate angle theorem. Let's start. Alternate angle theorem. Let's see the statement of this theorem. The alternate angles formed by a transversal of two parallel lines are of equal measures. Okay. What is given in this statement? It is given that there are two parallel lines and both are intersected by a transversal and the alternate angles formed in this figure are of equal measures. So we will take here two parallel lines. You can see your line L and line M are parallel to each other and line N is a transversal of those two parallel lines. So what is given line L parallel line M and line N is their transverses. Now what I have to prove alternate angles formed by those two parallel lines and transverses are of equal measures. So look at this figure here. I'm going to take one pair of alternate angles. You can see that in this figure angle A and angle B is one pair of alternate angles and I have to prove this two angles have same measures. So what I will write in to prove angle A equals to angle B. Now we will take one more angles. We will take angle adjacent to A. You can see in this figure I have taken C angle C adjacent to angle A. Now we will go for the proof of it. Okay. Angle A plus angle C equals to 180 degree. Why? Because they forms linear pair. Look at in this figure, angle A and angle C forms linear pair. Therefore, sum of these two angle is 180 degree and that is our equation number one. Angle B plus angle C equals to 180 degree because of interior angle theorem. All right. What is the interior angle theorem? If, if any transversal intersect two parallel lines, then pair of interior angles are supplementary. So look at in this figure, angle B and angle C is a pair of interior angles and some of these two angle is 180 degree. Now let's see here we have two equations. Okay, equation one and equation two, you can see that the right hand sides are equal. Therefore, angle A plus angle C equals to angle B plus angle C. This we got from equation one and two. Now you can see this equation have one common angle C on both the sides. We will eliminate angle C from both the sides. We will get angle A equals to angle B. Hence, you can say that alternate angles formed by transversal of two parallel lines are of equal measures. Thank you.